The Galactic Empire has had a number of ways to transport their stormtroopers across the galaxy, with the Imperial Star Destroyer being the flagship and most notable vessel in the Imperial Armada. Alongside with the Lambda-class shuttle, as iconic as any Imperial vehicle, but what about other ships used by the Empire to just transport regular stormtroopers, as Star Destroyers carried more than just stormtroopers and acted as mobile fortresses, and Lambda-class shuttles were primarily for officers? Well, let me introduce you to the standard Imperial transport. It was a modified transport to carry stormtroopers and heavy weaponry into battle zones or transport Imperial prisoners to the prison. It could carry 36 standing stormtroopers or at least 20 seated stormtroopers or prisoners, and it was armed with twin laser cannons and it had sublight engines. I couldn't find a manufacturer for one of these, and I presume for one of them it would be around like 50,000 credits for just being a basic. Uh, Imperial transport just to carry stormtroopers. We don't see it too much in the Star Wars universe, but in the later post Empire Imperial Remnants, we end up seeing these, so maybe they weren't fully used in the Star Wars galaxy until then. But one ship we have seen before is the LLAT LE Patrol gunship, which was actually a modified version of the LLAT, a complete downgrade in my opinion, and it was the Imperial Patrol transport, which was like I said the LLAT so it was introduced during the Clone Wars to perform law enforcement functions on the New Republic capital of Coruscant. It was a sleeker, smaller, and less heavily armed Republic attack gunship, and same thing with the Imperial version, less armed and a sleeker version, but it was more of a patrol transport and it was better suited for policing the dense planet-wide cities or areas where they couldn't use such a large gunship, get stormtroopers in and out quick, and it reduced the risks of overall collateral damage, and these were developed by the Saith Corporation and the Roth on a Heavy Engineering Corporation, a continuation of the Republic's military manufacturers going into the Empire, and for one of these it would cost 62,000 credits. If the Galactic Empire couldn't transport troops via space, they also had a number of ground transport vehicles as well such as the K-79-S-80 Imperial Troop Transport or the RTT Recon Transport. It was a boxy repulsor craft troop transport used by the Galactic Empire and it was developed by this industry, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it but here's their cool logo, and it was either used to move Imperial Stormtroopers or move prisoners. And despite not being designed for combat, the Imperial Troop Transport was fitted with two forward laser guns and a dorsal twin turret on the back, and it could carry at least one squad of troopers. And we get to see updated versions of it in The Mandalorian, but it primarily comes from the Rebels TV show. But it is one of the ground vehicle transports that the Empire would use, and I think there was more heavily modified versions of it that were more designed for combat like the Trexler 906 Armored Marauder, a combat-ready variant of the K-79-S80. The vehicle was in clad metal plating, resistant to standard blaster fire, and it had much thicker armor than the K-79-S80. And it provided enough space for three crew members, consisting of two pilots, one gunner, and the space to carry at least one squad of stormtroopers. And despite them being repulsor crafts, I have to presume that they were a little bit more off-road ready, but if the Empire really needed something off-road, they had the HCV WA9.2 Juggernaut Transport. In other words, just the Juggernaut Transport. This is another Clone Wars era vehicle that was transported into the Imperial era. It was so good that the Imperials couldn't, could not use it. Basically a giant all-terrain vehicle. They had armored versions and they also had ones that were just meant to deliver cargo, which is what we see in the Mandalorian. I was also able to find at least one other Imperial ground troop transport, more of a work yard transport than a military transport, but we do see it being in use in, in Mapuzo by the Galactic Empire, and of course our dude Freck is driving one of these. Like I said, not necessarily so much a military vehicle, but a work yard vehicle. And then just for fun, not used by the Galactic Empire, but Prelox Morlana, a private security company, would use vessels such as the Mobile Tac Pod, 
which was a troop transport and landing craft that could deploy troopers down to planetary surfaces or deliver small amounts of cargo. Certainly these aren't the most notable crafts in the Star Wars universe, but I always like taking a look at some of these smaller vehicles that the Empire would use and how they are still seen all across the galaxy well after the Empire's demise. So in that, that is some of the Empire's troop transports in the air and on the ground. Subscribe if you would like, and until next video, goodbye.